What's going on, Slick Nation? Slick Camille back with another video. So, y'all remember in my last video, the video where I got my low wind springs installed on my car, right? Somewhere in that video, towards the end of the video, I popped my hood for y'all and I showed y'all that my PCV valve hose was broken. Today, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to do a quick hot fix, a quick patch to get the hose fixed because Monday, yeah, Monday, I'm taking my car to DVR, which is a shop in Nashville, to get my headers installed and my tune done in my car, right? So I don't want to take my car up there to, uh, you know, to the shop with it being broken or something on the car being broken and not completely fixed, you know, because I want to try to avoid all issues that I can, right? I'm basically going to fix the uh, the holes on the car, right? Now, again, this is a temporary fix because, you know, I'm still waiting on the holes to get in from the dealership because that's why I take my car, you know, if I have something wrong with my car, something small like that, I just take it to the dealership so they can fix it. Alright, so how did I break my hose? So what ended up happening is um I was installing my E85 kit. As y'all can see right here. Hold on, let me show y'all. If I can open up the damn hood with one hand. So I installed my E85 kit. You can see it back there. Now the install was, it was pretty easy, you know, until you get to this part right here. It's a part up under here where you gotta install the kit, right? Right up under there, get close. There's a gloss black looking hose. You gotta connect it to a part up under this cover. So basically I was leaning on the hose, trying to get up under the cover to install my kit and I broke it off, that simple. I mean, it broke off real easy. Now this part is cheap as hell. It's like, I believe the part is like, um, the part itself is like $8, $8 or $9. And it's easy to get, but the thing is, is that the dealership or even the local provider, the closest one I think is like in Michigan or something like that, um, they're backed up, you know, because of COVID-19, y'all know everything is crazy right now. So they actually backed up and from the time that you order the part and for them to ship it out, it's like three weeks to a month just for that to happen. And this is a cheap part, it's like $9. And I've really been waiting for like two or three months since my, my video where I did the unboxing of all the parts that I'm putting on my car. But like I said, everything that's on that video, which I uploaded like two months ago, is like, I'm still waiting on it to get in from that video that I dropped. So it's been a while, but um, instead of waiting for it to come in, I'm gonna just go ahead and fix it myself, like just a temporary fix, you know? Something that's doable, it's not gonna last for a long time, but it's just something to get by, all right? So for those that's wondering, no, my check engine light didn't come on for this, you know? Like I said, it's just a PCV valve. It's nothing major, all right? Just a small part. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop the hood right now. Now I know I showed y'all in the last video, but you know, I want to show y'all again on exactly what's broken. All right, so let me go ahead and try to zoom in some for y'all. All right, so we got these two hoses right here, right? This is the first hose, this is the second hose. This hose right here is the hose that I'm referring to. So let me get close. Now, you can see towards the bottom, you can see this white stuff. That right there, that's super glue. All right, and I basically try to use super glue to um, you know, keep it in place. So, I'm gonna need to figure out another way to get it fixed. But again, I don't wanna take it up to the shop and something that's already broken on there, you know, causes an issue for them. So I, it's an easy fix, I'm gonna do it. So basically what I'm gonna end up doing is um, getting some electrical tape and I'm gonna clamp the hose down. And I'm gonna show y'all exactly how I'm gonna do it, but first I gotta run to the store to get the electrical tape. So I'm gonna get right back with y'all in a minute. All right, so it's getting kind of dark right now, so you really won't be able to see. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me go ahead and grab, let me grab a flashlight real quick. Go ahead and get this flashlight for y'all. All right, so as you can see, this is the PCV valve hose right here. All right, so you can see how, I, I, I'm taking it out right now, it's off. The hose is off. And you can see where it's broke at. That's, I'm going to put it up here. Alright, so. That's the hose. That's not supposed to happen. The hose is broke completely off. And that white stuff right there is basically glue. 
you know I tried to put some glue on it to hold it in place but apparently that's not gonna work so I'm gonna have to try to use some electrical tape to make this work all right I don't know how I'm gonna do it because of how it's broken off but I'm gonna try to make it work all right so quick update the way hold on okay so the way this PCB valve is broken I don't know if y'all can see this piece sticking out right here kind of hard to tell but there's no way I can get tape around that small piece and get it to connect to this hole down here there's no way so I'm gonna have to go the route of using super glue again so the super glue that was on here that you see this white stuff it lasted for about two weeks two two weeks without it budging so I'm gonna do that again I'm gonna do the same thing put more super glue on it and then um, hopefully it can last another week or so until the dealership get the part that I need you know since it's on back order and it's been on back order for the past couple months it should be at the dealership this week so that's the plan I'm gonna go ahead and put super glue on this again and you know we're just gonna go for that baby let's do it all right so I bet y'all wondering what's going on so basically what I did is I put the super glue on it and I walked away for a couple hours and I put this paint can on top of the hose. That way it can hold pressure on the hose, you know, um, while I'm gone. So that's basically what I did. So I'm gonna take this off um, and I'm gonna see how well this super glue is holding on to the car, onto the hose, excuse me. All right, look at the hose right there. I'm gonna move it just a little bit, not too much. And it feel like it's on there pretty good, so. I'm not about to move it too much harder because I'm not trying to have all this work done for nothing. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this cover back on the car right now. And then uh, we can go ahead and end the video. All right, so it is nighttime right now, but that is the end of the video, man. I wanted to make a quick video for y'all to keep y'all updated on why I didn't get my headers done when I should have got it done two months ago. But that's the reason why my PCV valve was broken. I did a temporary fix on it so when my headers and my E85 and everything get installed in tune, it shouldn't be no issues. So not next week, but the following week after that, I should be getting my new holes and you know we should be back to new again, man. So once that get done, once I get my holes on, once everything is perfect on the car, which should be within the next couple weeks, we're going straight to the track, man. I want y'all to be there for me. I'm going to put my GoPro on the car. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on that notification bell. You know, that way I can stay up to date on what I got going on with my car. And like I tell you in every video, I'll see you next time.